Welcome back, YouTube, to official version 1.6, Trailblaze Continuance. Today we are going to be jumping straight into the new Trailblaze Continuance, uh, of which I'm not sure what it's titled, but here it says Crown of the Mundane and Divine. So the mundanity and the genius, humanity and divinity, sensed during a golden epoch, the struggles across life's years are nothing more than absurd instants. So I'm supposing we'll meet uh, Ratio, we'll meet Ron May, we'll meet Herda, and essentially quite a lot of members from the Genius Society as well. Um, not sure what we will be encountering, although I'm pretty sure that new bug uh, will probably pop up at some point of time. So that's going to be something to look forward to. Not. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we are going to be continuing on uh, with the Trailblaze Continuance in this patch. And yeah, let's see where the story takes us. Very excited to meet Daddy Dr. Ratio and of course Mommy Ron May. Daddy Dr. Ratio is coming soon. I am so happy. You guys have no idea. Alright, so it begins with Herda sending us a text message. Here's some good news. Ron May is at the space station. Ron May? Good news? Can I meet her? Ah, crap. What? <laughs> okay, my bad. Can I meet her? Me and my fat thumbs. I do apologize for that. Ask her yourself. Ooh. I called her and screwed them here to talk about some important matters. Come back when you're free and introduce yourself to her. That way, she knows who's the person that has been testing the simulated universe. Remember to show Ron May some respect. You don't usually get many chances to meet her. Accept admission when the stars of ingenuity shine. Alright, let's go. Oh wait, there was some description. As the simulated universe receives another update, the space station remains bustling with activity. This time, several po prominent figures from the Genius Society have all arrived at the space station. You receive a message from Herda who informs you that Ron May has also arrived at the space station. It is time to go meet her. Hi Herda, you're right here. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's enough of me fooling around. Where is Herda? Right in the center. Alright, gotcha. Let's go. Ron May. A name that's both new and familiar. Alright, time to meet my savior in the simulated universe. Thank you for always giving me blessings and cosmic fragments. Absolutely I amazing. I thought member four, Polka Kakamon, had gotten rid of most of the society members. I didn't have a lot of hope for this. Oh, look who's here. Hello, Asta. Hi, Herda. You're back. <laughs> yeah, there's quite the crowd today. Between three geniuses. Ooh. It's a special time. All departments are preparing to welcome distinguished guests from the Genius Society. Let's go. Madame Ron May doesn't like fanfare and probably wouldn't appreciate a crowd to welcome her, so I asked the researchers to keep things simple. How nice of you, Asta. I took her to see the portraits of the society members a few days ago. I wanted to have the researchers make one for her as well, but she declined the offer. Oh. I don't get it. Whatever. As long as she's happy. Yep, that's fair. I heard Miss Ron May likes snacks and pastries, so I asked the researchers to prepare some traditional desserts from the blue. All of them seem to tickle her fancy. Ooh. Would I be able to meet Ron May? Is Ron May a great person? Of course! Go find her yourself. She borrowed the phase flame to do some research as soon as she got here. I haven't seen a trace of her since. Wow. Okay. Miss Ron May is the very image of a scholar. I heard she once took a little vacation on a desert planet. By the time she left, she'd miraculously created a boom in the local ecology. Wow. She just wanted somewhere uninhabited to experiment with her life spiral system. Ron May is certainly very talented, but she hardly interacts with anyone. She lives like a hermit. Pity. Aww. <laughs> Anyway, what more needs to be said for someone smart enough to become Herda's research partner, hmm? Hurry up and head out! Huh? Let's see if you can find her. Alright, where is Ron May right now? I'm not sure, but she doesn't seem to get around much. She spends most of her time between the Master Control Zone and the Railway Platform. Maybe you can start your search there. Okay then. Off to find Ron May. 
New message. Okay, invited. Spill. You already know me. Invited. Take ultimate to the face to the group chat. Looks like we're in for some juicy news. Oh? Got the deets? Don't leak this from the chat. Ron May is coming to the space station. She's already here. Isn't she already here? You're getting slow with your gossip. You really are something. But we're still preparing for the welcome ceremony. Ron May doesn't appreciate it. Yeah. I heard she's a loner even among the geniuses. So all her work was for nothing? Why don't you give a heads up ahead of time? Her has also turned a blind eye to what she does. That's the big shot special treatment. It's okay, stop working hard. <coughs> it's okay, other big shots will show up sooner or later. Hmm, I'll be waiting then. Apparently Miss Ron May's personality isn't all that great. Word? Is there ever a genius who's normal? Screwlum seems pretty chill. Okay fine, I'll give you that. I'll give you that too, Screwlum does seem pretty chill. When the stars of ingenuity shine, crown of the mundane and divine. Can we continue talking to them? Asta. Miss Ron May is the very image of a scholar. Okay, yeah, she's talked about that already, Herda. Anyway, what more needs to be said for someone smart enough to become Herda's research partner, hmm? Hurry up and head out! Huh? See if you can find her. Alright. Cool. Find Ron May. So we're heading to the supply zone. The railway platform. Okay. Let's see what Miss Ron May is like. There's someone next to the railway platform. And could she be? Yes. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Lots of heavy Hello. breathing by Chaos. I hope I didn't startle you. Hello, Ron May. This is a work habit of mine. Using touch to open my senses and letting the details of your biological existence flood into my brain helps me understand your construction as a living organism. Ooh. Such is the basis of deconstruction and reconstruction. Do not be concerned. You are very healthy. In fact, impeccably so. A perfect experimental specimen. I like perfect experimental specimens. We finally meet. There's a bit of cake in the corner of your mouth. Uh, we shall not point that out. Yes, I'm happy to meet you too. We've met before in the simulated universe. Indeed we have. Thank you so much for your assistance. That is absolutely amazing. I expect the views here had me lost in thought. I don't usually go in and out of the space station and only discovered today that it was blessed with such calm, open views. It is a wonderful fit for the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossoms, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. Mmm, sounds good. <laughs> Come here, look. The blue planet is directly below us. It is so full of life. This dessert is very delicious. Here, take half. Sure. No, I'm good. Take a bite. I mean, if you're offering, why not? Delicious desserts remind people of how flowers look when they bloom. Ingest this dessert one bite at a time, and the sweetness will linger in your mouth. Indeed. I hope you like it too. Thank you. You ate Ron May's snack. So, what do you think? I can certainly prepare more for you. It's become somewhat of a tradition to bring strawberry pastries when I visit Stephen Lloyd. His attendance seems quite dependent on them. Ooh, Stephen Lloyd. Hmm, an outstanding dessert. Ten grams of cubed sugar, one dried and salt-preserved plum blossom. 
Baking and cooking are the same as nurturing a universe. The heat must be controlled, planning must be meticulous, and one must not panic, no matter what happens. That's quite true. And also the dessert sounds absolutely lovely. Would love to try one in real life. Unfortunately, there are still too many people in the space station. The clamor is not fitting for desserts. By the way... Mm-hmm. What's up? Do you remember what my research is about? Only that it's about biology, something about nurturing life forms. No, my research area is short stories about toilets. What? Wait, that just came out of our mouths? My research area is short stories about toilets. Huh? Yeah. Okay, what did you do? What's going on? What, what am I talking about? Yeah. I see. What a cute hobby. Uh. But remember, the next time something like this happens, it's crucial to mask your expression until you've ascertained the situation. Did you drop this? If not, you'll be full of weaknesses that others can see through. Uh. Let's try again. Now, what else would you like to ask? Oh, what did? What do you mean? What do you do to me? What do you feed me? The dessert was tasty. I would like more. That's not what we said. <laughs> Why can't I say what I want to say? Oh boy. <laughs> you have quite the appetite. All right. I'll give you the recipe. Uh huh. Come and have a walk with me. A stroll is the most appropriate post dessert activity. Damn it. I thought she was being nice. Ah, Ron, me. The masses depart. There's an oh, trouble lord. Here. You're here. Just like in the no man's land I've ventured uh. to in the past. Can you imagine a completely lifeless world? I. From there, uh -huh. you can glimpse the stars that lie at the very edge of the horizon. Following its celestial trajectory, the great teal star illuminates an endless sea of white across both the sky and land. My mother and I navigated calm glaciers, looking for signs of life on that world, and encountered many bizarre phenomena. Can we talk about her we drugging us? A single correct piece in a mountain of jigsaw pieces. The process was convoluted and unimaginably difficult, but it was touching and enthralling as well. Uh -huh. My apologies. It appears my words have left you perplexed. Please. Don't be on edge. I bear no ill will. I haven't interfered sure. with your linguistic faculties. Such an act would be impolite. I merely made a minor adjustment. And what would that adjustment be? A few days ago, I made my interest in you known to Herta. My intention is for you to serve as an assistant. Based on our interactions within the simulated universe, I firmly believe you fit the bill. Um, okay. I find extending trust beyond myself is challenging. A single error in detailed research can generate issues, and I despise matters that escape my control. Uh huh. Therefore, I added anti truth serum to this dessert. It will not harm you. However, you will be unable to say what you truly think when answering questions related to me. But why? Also, I should have just refused that from the start. God damn it. Treat it as a layer of protection. This will shield my research and your personal safety. Once the problems have been dealt with, I'll give you the antidote. Oh boy. I can also reward you as compensation for being my assistant. I will fulfill your every wish. Every wish? Problems you don't trust me, I'm still upset. Then I'll grant you even greater rewards. Uh huh. Not how it works, Ron May, but I sure. When I first arrived on the space station, I borrowed the face flame from Herta. It's an invention of member number 29 circle. I hope to be enlightened by other society members' results. Uh huh. A surge of creativity led me to explore the cultivation of life on the space station. In my imagination, these life forms would be a new variety that are born as geniuses. I plan to name them after Lambda, member number eight of the Genius Society. Uh-huh. I don't know where it went wrong. 
They possess their own sentience, but are nowhere near geniuses. Aha. Uh -huh. Moreover, my free-range approach seems to have backfired. In a lab leak incident a few days ago, some of these little life forms ran away and scattered all over the space station. Mm hmm. I do not wish for Herta or Asta to be involved in this. Therefore, I'm hoping you can assist in recovering these little life forms. Oh boy. You can try trusting me, you know. I do trust you. <laughs> not enough. <laughs> Why don't you want them to know? This has nothing to do with them. Besides, the more people involved, the more problems there will be. <sighs> Alright. Okay. The researchers are still treating these entities as visitors. I want to steer clear of making my presence known, so as not to cause undue disturbances. I entrust this to you. Once the little life forms are collected, simply find a proper place for them. The researchers in the Department of Ecology should know about this and provide you with suitable advice. Uh huh. Okay. Huh. Alright, get information from the researchers. This does not seem good. Just saying. Ah, oh, boy. <sighs> Such a peaceful spot. <laughs> Alright, what do you guys think? What? A place where the space station stores dangerous experimental results? Why would anyone want to know that? Wait, did someone send you here to try to get things out of me? <laughs> nah. I'm not doing any private business on the space station. I have absolutely no knowledge of any special hiding places. And I certainly haven't sold any old junk rare treasures or discarded curios or anything like that. Uh-huh. I didn't even ask. Ron may ask me to do this. You're so cute. <laughs> Can I get an autograph? Uh huh? Wait. Oh, right, Ron V. So, I really can't say anything about her. So it would seem. Autograph? What are you on about? You're freaking me out! Sorry, sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll. <sighs> I won't talk to you if you don't tell me why you're here. Okay, I heard there were some problems on the space station. Oh, that. You've got pretty good contacts if you know that already. The space station is a mess. Everyone's already swamped as it is. And now out of nowhere, there's a bunch of little creatures popping up. Uh-huh. If you want to solve the problem, go check out the storage zone. Then you'll understand. Okay. Alright, so to the storage zone it would seem. Head to the storage zone. Oh god, why are there things that are interested in fighting us right off the bat? Where exactly am I headed? In this direction, okay. So it's not just me. Okay, gotcha. To the storage zone. There are so many people. And this seems to be the place. Check out the disturbance. Try to create life. Ask for information about Ron May. Research of the Department of Insight. Investigate. Ron May likes to listen to the space station radio during her research. Uh-huh. Ah, some of us younger researchers are her super fans. We're always scanning different frequencies to find out what her tastes are. Do you know her favorite tunes by any chance? Not really. Ron May likes to listen to new style opera. Ron May likes to listen to new style storytelling. No idea. I just listen to comedy skits. God damn. <laughs> so, I really can't say anything about her. Yeah. As expected. You look like you belong in a comedy skit yourself. Hey, that's just mean. That's just mean. Not nice. Researcher of the Department of Insight. I heard Madame Ronme is very picky when it comes to snacks. Uh, do you know what her favorites are? Nope, don't ask me. Ronme likes plum blossom cakes that are freshly salted. I don't know. I don't know about her, but I love fermented dairy. 
Ah, uh, that's that's amazing. So I really can't say anything about her. Yeah, you can. But Did it's still I quite hilarious. Also, that's disgusting. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, that's that's quite funny. Bill? Molten cheese tart is the best. Its outlook is infectious. Mm -hmm. Its positive mood has influenced us all. Mm -hmm. What's our slogan again? One, stop complaining, change your attitude, and use the delicious molten cheese tart to stop the flow of negative energy. All right. Two, energize yourself, increase your capacity for action, and walk on the path of a molten cheese tart's absolute conviction. Uh -huh. Our creed, molten cheese tart is the best. Yep. Who's molten cheese tart? Oh, praise be. You don't know? Molten cheese tart is Madame Ron May's top fan. This is how it preaches. Those who offer their love are expressing admiration and affection for Miss Ron May. Uh huh. What about Scrooge's followers? What about Stephen's followers? <laughs> Oh, damn. Okay. Since you're so interested, I'll tell you how to secure an audience with the honorable molten cheese tart. You'll need to work hard to get there. Okay. You need to plaster hearts wherever Madame Ron May has been. If you're sincere enough, the honorable molten cheese tart will show itself. <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay. Perform a mysterious summoning ritual. Try to create life. Ask for information about Ron May. Ron May, member 81 of the Genius Society. A resounding name in science and the veritable epitome of life form cultivation. Researchers here have heard so much about her for so long. But once she arrived on the space station, she just took over everything. And what did Madame Hurt to do? Absolutely nothing. Yep. Hurt is planning Ron May. Took over everything? Yes, she's treating this place like her backyard. She's leaving her research notes all over the floor. Oh. <laughs> the end result? Everyone's obsessed with getting their hands on them. Mm hmm. Fair enough. Try to create life. Okay, wait. We'll make the graffiti in a bit, but let's try to create life. Hey, guess what I got my hands on? Word on the street is that this is the downgraded version of Ron May's life cultivation formula. Uh huh. It says 10 carats of ingenuity, one ton of practice, 30 particles of Starquake, and a few drops of poisonous liquor for Madame Yu Ting Tu. Rumor has it that it once created a talking chair. Not a particularly intelligent one, but boy, did it have a sharp tongue. They dismantled it and used it for firewood. Can you believe it? <laughs> Yeah, I believe Let's it. Let's give it a shot, shall we? First things first, we need to pick up the ingredients. Mm hmm. A constantly burning passion. Confidence that came out of nowhere. Courage to drink two bottles of cavalcati in one go. Hmm. We need to add some other good stuff in. Yeah, but don't go overboard. Okay. IQ, EQ, beauty. IQ. Mm. And now we mix them together. <laughs> Wait! It says on the recipe, Ron May makes different expressions when nurturing life. Aha, uh -huh. Ron May frowns, the corner of Ron May mouse twitches. Ron May is suppressing her emotions, Ron May is expressionless. Suppress, uh, suppressing her emotions. Yikes, take a look at what you just cultivated. What would that be? <gasps> you have nurtured a coriander sesame paste life form? Oh my god, wait, you look so cute. Stop the jiggling. That is cute. Perform a mysterious summoning ritual. Use the function below to create graffiti. Please spray graffiti in the target area in accordance with the different requirements. Tap here to switch graffiti types. Tap the spray button to spray graffiti. Paint as many likes as you can wherever Ron May happens to go. Okay. Do I just have to put eight of these? Oh, whoops. My bad.
Uh. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're good. We can get rid of that. So what now? Do I just have to just keep painting on in this room? I'm confused. Aha. Uh -huh. But okay. Wait, I forgot. What else do I have to do again? No, nope, you're cute. Err. I I'm I'm just graffitiing, but I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to do. Is it supposed to be in here? Instead of on the wall? Oh, there you go. Hello. Rami's creation jumps onto the table. Hello, Rami's creation. You look cute. Um, so this... That looks like an angry bird. Is the little life form Ron they made? So it would seem. Okay, wait, no, that's cute. <laughs> A researcher appears out of nowhere next to you. I am humbled to meet the molten cheese tart. <gasps> uh huh. Frozen in place for. Oh, you don't understand the honorable tart. That's okay. No worries for situations like this. We've specifically concocted a synesthesia beacon. Uh huh. Activate the synesthesia beacon. Kwakaka! I'm a genius. A genius among geniuses. <laughs> oh dear God, I love Kayla's voice. The voice actor for doing that is absolutely amazing. Holy crap! It actually made my voice immediately deactivate the specific synesthesia beacon. Wang 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 wang. That was way too risky. Uh huh. You're telling me. Meow. <laughs> oh, Molten Cheese Tot says Madam Ronme has finally recognized my ingenuity. Uh huh. Uh huh. Molten Cheese Tot says, Does Madam Ronme recognize me as a masterpiece? Uh, I'm glad they're so adorable. I can't burst a bubble like this. Molten Cheese Tart says, Madame Ronme still has not recognized me as a life form that passes the requirements. I need to work harder. Oh, such an enthusiastic Molten Cheese Tart. Indeed. <coughs> There's a kind of attachment reserved for the creator. To the world, you are but one person. But to me, you are the entire world. Oh, Madam Ronme. Aw. <laughs> hey, you! Yes, you! Don't you have anything you want to say to Molten Cheese Tart? You should at least express how you would like to follow Molten Cheese Tart. We wouldn't want to mistake you for an agent of grade bean paste, would we? Uh, I follow Molten Cheese Tart, I like grey bean paste. There's no way Ron May would like you. Oh god. Good! You have great taste! Yep, just plain you with see, it for now. The Honorable Molten Cheese Tart has always been fighting against grey bean paste in terms of flavor. The Honorable Molten Cheese Tart is a firm believer that people's lives need to be optimistic. Mm hmm. They both hope to receive Madame Ron May's recognition and have been working so hard. Indeed. How did Ron May make desserts into life forms? You like the taste of molten cheese tart? I don't think it would be good to ask that. You need to call it the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart. Alright, alright. The Honorable Molten Cheese Tart. Mm, it's genuinely puzzling. Despite Molten Cheese Tart's remarkable qualities, why hasn't Madam Ron May acknowledged it? Mm -hmm. It's clear that it yearns for her love. Indeed. What kind of love, though? Love from the creator to her creation? Familiar love? Doesn't sound right. Romantic love? 
Ooh. Definitely not. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Expecting me to understand love is like asking me to map the farthest reaches of the universe. Yep. Remember, as long as love is your compass, you're on the right track. And in the wise words of the Honorable Bolton Cheese Tart, love must be shouted from the rooftops. Uh huh. Can I talk alone with Bolton Cheese Tart? That, that depends if the Honorable Tart agrees <sighs> to it. What do you say? Very cute, by the way. The Honorable Molten Cheese Tart has agreed. Okay. Cool. You try to communicate Ron May's creation and get it away. Oh boy. Is that that researcher? Ecology researcher. You can throw those little monsters in here. Are you serious? I think you're lying. This is a one-way passage with the other end connected to the storage zone. It's extremely safe. Alright then. Accommodate Ron May's creations. But I like this coriander sesame paste knife fall. It's so cute! Holy crap. Ugh. Oh, what a beauty. An absolute beauty. Do I really have to fight things? Nope. Let's go. Investigate. You realize Ron May's creation cannot be put in at all. <laughs> Flushing them down the toilet. Are you for real? Aww. It opens its innocent eyes wide. You now have to explain to it that it has to be done in order to send it back to Ron May's side. Confess. Why are you stirring up trouble on the space station? Confess. Do you like molten cheese thoughts? Guys, it's so cute. Uh, it seems to believe that this is a flavor that can bring happiness. Oh, so cute. It seems resentful for being an unqualified life form. It seems eager to achieve great things. It wants to fully embrace its own philosophy and is inviting you to join in. Okay. You have to be firm, believing this is the best place for it. Tenderly activate the teleporter, callously activate the teleporter. Tenderly, of course. Ron May's little life form was ruthlessly flushed down the john. It will be safely transported to the storage zone. God, we're flushing down food. That makes me feel wrong. Damn. And speak of the devil. Trailblazer, how's your progress? Sorry to interrupt, come back first. An emergency's come up that requires your help. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go speak with Ron May then. In Herda's office. Okay, what's up? You're here. Yep, we are. Herta called Skrulam and I to the space station to discuss some important topics. Mm -hmm. She also sent an invite to Steven, but he didn't reply, and Herta didn't seem to want to wait any longer. Fair enough. And now? I wish for you to attend this meeting with me. Why with me? I don't want Herta to worry herself over these frivolous matters, even though she probably wouldn't care anyway. Uh huh. Just in case, I want someone who will be on my side. In other words, you. Okay. Help me. It'll be easy. Just remember, my secret stays with you, don't pry too much, and keep your expressions in check. Okay. Alright. Alright. Let's go. Why hasn't Ron May yet come? Attend the meeting with Ron May. Where are we? We're in the Hi, simulated Ron universe? May. I've been waiting for you. Oh, you're here too? Looks like you two have become quite friendly. Uh-huh. It's good to see you, sir. Affirmation. This reunion has happened earlier than my calculations predicted. Screw them. Though you weren't invited, I welcome you to remember this historical moment. How long has it been since three geniuses were in the same room together? 
And how long will we have to wait for it to happen again? Hmm. Hmm. Affirmative. Discounting our discussions on the simulated universe, our interactions are scarce. I look forward to the innovative ideas that may emerge from this juxtaposition of minds. Cheer passionately, bow politely. Aww. Let me get straight to the point. I think it's time to find another partner for the simulated universe. Oh? Is this the IPC they were talking about? You wish to kick Steven out? Oh. No, of course not. Steven doesn't want to get involved and voted to abstain. Oh, whatever. Look, I respect the way people want to live, but he doesn't have a chance to be involved in this decision making anymore. Mm hmm. Question Are we introducing a fifth partner for the simulated universe? Yes, a fifth genius. Ooh. The reason for our gathering is clear to everyone present. What else could prompt such a gathering of brilliant minds except for the answer? Mm -hmm. No one can refuse the secret of the eons. Not even Xandar will definitely get a response. Okay. What if the responder is Polka Kakamond? <laughs> That'd be great! Hey, Lord of Silence, are you listening? I'm member number 83, Herda, and I want to meet you. I believe you and I will have a lot to talk about. Ooh. It's unlikely we'll hear from Polka Kakamond. She's been off the grid for quite some time. Probability, member number 64, Dr. Primitive, may appear. Dr. Primitive. That's a hard pass. Given Dr. Primitive's shady research practices and his tussle with the Galaxy Rangers, the IPC will surely turn this into a media circus. He can get lost. I'd prefer it if the simulated universe remained scandal-free. Mm-hmm. Well, what about you, Ching Tu? Are you still in touch with her, Ronmei? Is she still alive? Can we ask him to leave if we are to discuss this topic? The process will be long and boring. There's no need to take up other people's time. Damn. Of course! You brought him in after all. It's up to you. All right. Let me walk you out. Okay. And what the heck is this? <laughs> Seems like a programming error. Uh huh. Oh, this fragment of Ron May. Have you seen it in the simulated universe before? Nope. It's probably an isolated glitch. I mean, we have, because I absolutely love when we get Ron May in the SU. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> to turning a blind eye to these things it makes life easier i am curious though are you gonna keep it ronay mm -hmm. i probably will records indicate he likes this occurrence <laughs> all right i agree as long as it helps you with your research you can do whatever you want mm -hmm. come along i'll see you out okay follow on me optional talk of her to unscrew them What's wrong? Uh, you're not leaving. Uh, will there be a fifth genius joining? I want to know about number four, Polka Kakamon. Female wears a fashionable scarf. I find her rather fascinating. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Screw them. The air in the space station has a pleasant quality. Affirmation. Knowledge flows within it. Will there be a fifth genius joining? I want to know about number 64, Dr. Primitive. How long will you be staying on the space station for? Dr. Primitive's true identity is not known to me. His previous transgressions against humanity lead some to conclude he may be an inorganic entity. Uh -huh. Affirmation. All beings, organic or otherwise, should value peace. Okay. Alright, well, I guess we're following you now, Ronmi. It appears I was overthinking things. Impulsive behavior is pretty characteristic of her, after all. Uh huh. Thankfully, it was just a minor scare. Still, meetings give me such a headache. It seems I'll have to stay put for a while. Yeah. I see that you've recovered the life form in the master control zone. Thank you. Well done. 
I and I didn't end up saying anything. Is there something I shouldn't hear? No, you misunderstand. While Herta is tied up in meetings, you might find it more convenient to roam the space station. I see. There are some things that I must tell you now. If I wait for the meeting to finish, then it might be too late. The retrieval of my life forms isn't complete yet. There's more than just one, and some are stored in a sealed zone. Uh-huh. Herta uses that place to welcome visitors from across the stars, or to welcome members of the Genius Society. However, due to the Legion's invasion, it is no longer open to the public. Mm hmm And now my headache is stored there. There are other zones in the space station, so Herta gave you permission to use this place. She gave me permission and said no more. Okay. I'm giving you my access card. Give me your hand and I'll input your fingerprint into it. Oh, okay. Stay vigilant, assistant. Should you come across a threat you can't handle, just alert me. I'll come to your aid no matter what. All right, then. Remember, there is a giant incubator in the middle of the zone. That's where my headache is stored. Uh-huh. Once you're back, come find me on the railway platform. Then you'll understand everything. Okay, gotcha. Leave the simulated universe. So this meeting took place in the simulated universe. How fun. Take the elevator and go to the space zone. So this is when we unlock the new area then. Okay. What would a sealed zone look like? No idea, Kalis. No idea. Okay. Hello animation, looking clean as hell. Kalis, my boy. It looks very cool. Although dark. God, I do not like the creepy vibes this gives off. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, and the elevator's going back up. Oh boy. This is creepy as hell. Man, why does my man have to keep going through all of this? I feel bad for Kayla's for having to go through all of this. God damn it. So I assume this is the new seclusion zone. That's what it's called. Okay. Seems quite big as well. Alright. Where did the mysterious little robot go? The music here is new too. Interesting. Oh, you're here. Okay. This place gives me the creeps. Not gonna lie. Buzz. Robot frying cold rice. What's up with this unit? It looks different from the one in the master control zone. Yeah. Buzz, Madam Herta, open zone. Buzz, to welcome alien species, galactic visitors. Mm hmm. High risk zone. Buzz, service staff, inorganic life forms. Buzz, permission status. Uh -huh. Madam Ron Nay, permissions granted. Madam Herta, fine, as long as it keeps her happy. Buzz, uh huh. Why are you here? What is this zone for? Buzz, I am a twin of the rice frying robot. I am the leftover rice frying robot. Buzz, uh, uh huh. Maintain zone operation. Job of inorganic life forms. Buzz. Welcome, Buzz. Visitor, how can I help? Classification of the jobs of the robots jobs. Map. Fry leftover rice. Buzz. You know what? Shouldn't have asked that. Fry leftover rice. Buzz. Uh huh. Welcome, visitor. What do you need? Now Buzz. you're on repeat. Where would I find the incubator? Conclusion. You cannot enter. Probability 50%. Other paths are open. Okay. Assessment. Seeking directions. Buzz. 
Mm -hmm. Suggestion. Proceed to basement. Locate records of cultivation path. Buzz. Okay, that is a basement. Is there anything Fry else you can tell us? Rice. Fry leftover rice. Buzz. Okay. That's just creepy. To the basement then. Oh, and the chest. Thank you for that. Uh, okay. No. Oh, okay. So this is an elevator. Okay, gotcha. Holy crap, how deep does this place go? Also, how fast must we be falling for... You do realize that we've practically traversed, like, a decent chunk of the planet, right? That means that the space station is probably as big, if not bigger, than the planet. Or maybe I'm failing my proportion sizes and I'm just tripping. But still. Okay, did not know that there was an underground area like this. That's fun. Alright, control panel. Continue searching for clues. Into it safe zone. Uh, how do we get there? Oh, okay, the stairs coming down to that part. Gotcha. New stuff for me to collect as well. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Investigate. The kindling for the face flame is fascinating. Unfortunately, before the research could be completed, it vanished. I've initiated new attempts. Uh-huh. The growth status of the two samples this time is promising. I incorporated personal taste preferences into the concept, but I'm uncertain about the outcome of such an action. Mm -hmm. They simultaneously possess two sets of emotional traits. They are at once cute, weak, sentimental, and sensitive. Yet are also fierce, instigating, demanding, and confident. Uh -huh. Interestingly, they also possess a kind of inclination, a yearning for their creator. It manifests as a natural, inherent emotion, similar to that of a baby towards its mother. Life towards sustenance, or the peculiar bond between humans. Uh huh. What's that sound out there? I hear it too. Another space anchor has been activated. Is so there something here? Oh, is it you? What are you? So cute! This is the headache wrong they mentioned? I, I would hope not because it's so cute. It's just a different flavor. Yeah. <laughs> it refers to itself grey bean paste. Are you hiding in the dessert? You're pretty scary. <coughs> oh, you're so cute. It claims to be connected with its shell. <coughs> Stop the meowing is so cute. I cannot. It looks deeply distressed, crying profusely. Activate the synthesis. Synesthesia Beacon. I have problems pronouncing that. I apologize. I'm not one of Rome's recognized works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's where that line came from. Gotcha. Alright. Yeah, I was seeing this line on Twitter. And people were saying like how um, Caleb needed to pay... Uh, about how Caleb needed to pay his uh, bills. Desperately needed to pay his bills. I understand where it comes from now. Too much negative energy. <laughs> Don't like negative energy. <laughs> Damn. Damn, man's really pouring his heart and soul into <laughs> the crying. God damn. You're a genius in your own way. Everyone feels down once in a while. Aww, cute. It seems to believe that its emotional infectiousness is also quite genius. 
Why? Why am I a failure? You're not. You're not. You're not a failure. Oh. In Gaze at Rame's creation, which appears to be wait to still be waiting sadly for Rame to come get it. A hint of compassion tugs at your heart. What's that noise? Oh god, yeah, I hear that. Hmm? Uh, follow me. It'll be okay. How convincing of you. I need to find a place for this little one. That sound seems to be from that locked room. How do I get in? Mm-hmm. Alright. Accommodate Ron May's creation. There's a room at the bottom. <laughs> okay. Very intriguing. Meow. Yeah. It seems to sense your fear and starts humming a song for you. It's so cute. In a circle, Ranmei's creations join hands with each other. Ranmei intertwines joy and sorrow. Oh, I thought you would continue. Alright, further on. What else is here? I'm on a lower level now. What is this? There you go, true things. The swarm is down here. What the heck? Oh, that's a new one. Horn clash. Wait. We're gonna have a look at that. I'm gonna have a look at that. Gnaw sting. Quantum press. Use quantum damage to a single target, prioritizing entangle targets, and applies one extra stack of entanglement. When receiving a killing blow, deals quantum damage to all friendly units and increases the damage received. Okay, gotcha. So you're a priority then. Actually, no, I think we're good. <laughs> My guiding light. Beauty is eternal. I'm on guard. Okay. But surprisingly, we're not entangled. Decay youthology. Sorry, youthology. Youthology. The consequences are mine to bear. So we see weird, funny smoke particles. Rame, Rame, why do you not turn? Why do you not turn back to look at us? Oh, I feel bad for the critters. All right, two more things in front of us. So they camouflage themselves, and we can't really activate any ability until we see until they deactivate theirs. Gotcha. That's totally not going to be fun at all. Oh boy. My oath is too solitary. All right. If anything, I want to see what you do. Flesh wound. Right. We're finding the swarm. Why? Why did I think that not killing them fast enough was a good idea? My bad. <laughs> I want to see that quantum entanglement though. The times are changed. Okay, you do decent damage. Heaven, sir. Rise. So I think that should do the trick for majority of things. Let's go. Nice. Nice. All right. The Sorry, the crack my knuckles there. I'm a bit stiffy. Ah, oh, perfect. Oh boy, not one of these guys. Prepare to fight. Alright, we should get rid of them. ASAP. Nice. This should be a trick. Nice. Alright. Press on. Run me, run me. Where does your path lead? So cute though. <laughs> Alright, battle search. Flesh wound. I'm gonna hold everyone back again. That's how Jinty keep getting hit. God oh, damn it. <laughs> strength. Heaven's surge. Rise. 
Does Grace that do you. enough damage? No. Just a little bit. Yeah, let's go. Alright. There is there no place for us where you're going? Oh, Sorry, you look scary but strange sounds. So many of them. Yeah, holy crap. Oh man, I can't talk to them. Oh man. They're cute though. Mega cute. Alright. The final days that member number 23, Acha, spent in the mechanical city showed me that even the longest of lives, such as hers, have a limit. Mm -hmm. I'm now certain that the outcome of this cultivation is failure. Oh. Life can exist in thousands of different forms, which means the form itself has no purpose. Mm hmm. These life forms are very advanced in their own concepts and can even trigger chain reactions such as synesthesia. But that is not what I desire. Uh -huh. I'm starting to feel lost. Perhaps the question, what is the essence of life? Never had an answer. Remember? Oh shit, sorry. I mistakenly clicked it because I thought she was done talking. I was sipping a cup of tea. My bad on that. All right, continue searching for clues. You are here too. Uh, seems like this is the other end of that one-way path. Hopefully, you're not too upset with us. Okay. How do we get there? Oh. Are you telling me to keep going? Okay. Uh, more chests around here. Life is countless and varied in form. I firmly believe in that. Its beauty is like a myriad of flowers and I want to pluck the one that never wilts. The patterns of all things always have complicated and enchanting exteriors, while their inner essences remain simple and plain. If we were to trace things back to their roots, just one equation would be enough to solve the confusion of all life. Uh -huh. Ever since I was a child, I have always delighted in observing aspects of microscopic creatures, such as the speed with which slime molds devour objects. I have also gazed far and wide across the macroscopic world, investigating the progress of the universe up to this day. It was all very simple. Hmm. I wish to discover the true essence of life, something that all individuals possess unknowingly, whether it is the materialism of their existence or an unknown entity beyond corporeal realms. Funny how we've never seen Ron May appear like this before. <sighs> to avoid blind faith in science, I cautiously raised a query. Would Ron May be able to peel away external influences? Just like pinpointing a coordinate, would she be able to uncover life's most primordial and beautiful form of existence? Hmm. I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach, and that is... Oh, come on, you're almost there. Why'd you stop at there? Yeah? What is it? Oh, okay, no that That was bad of you. God damn it. All the enemies' actions are greatly advanced. How fun. <sighs> Alright. Alright. Gee, thanks. At least one of you died. Makes life a little bit easier for me. God damn it. <sighs> the consequences right. are mine to bear. Yeah, yeah, we know. I'm just gonna open this because I think it connects to the other area. There you go. Now it's all one straight path instead of having to go miles and miles away. The amount of dangling cables here is very unsettling. Oh, what's this? A biological hub? Okay, more investigation. Read the record. 
The duration of sunlight exposure is a crucial factor affecting mood. Basking in starlight has been proven to be an effective method to alleviate negative emotions. Sounds fitting. Yep. Accommodate the green, the grey bean paste. Stay here for a bit. <laughs> no? Did something just open? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so that's why they put all the paste in. You see? All of them are in there. Interesting. How do I get up there? Is there a staircase nearby? The plant incubator has been operating normally since the evacuation of the researchers. Okay. Uh huh. There's an upstairs layer as well. Where do you lead? Okay, wait, that's a chest. Uh, I should probably open it just to. The path is temporarily closed. Good to know. Good to know. Straight ahead. What is that? Oh, another robot. Buzz. Only Madame Ron May has permissions. Please submit your ID. Buzz. Buzz. Show Ron May's card. Permissions granted. Buzz. Select from the below services. One. Check historical incubation records. Two. Inorganic lifeform companionship chat service. Inorganic lifeform companionship chat service. This function has been damaged. Buzz. Nice. Check historical incubation records. Is this? I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach. Oh and boy. That is an emanator. An emanator? I cannot comprehend what an emanator is. Scholars view them as the executors of the eon's power. So when did it begin? And at what point did they become closer to the eons than any other life form? Uh-huh. At first, I tried to create a genius. I failed. That question has no solution yet, and a long journey of discovery still lies ahead. However, erudition isn't the only path in the universe. If we set logic aside, would there be more primitive and pure emanators on other paths? Of course there would be. You sound like you're going insane. Casey Ron. I was able to see the beginning and end of the swarm disaster through the simulated universe. Obtain data on the Imperator and Sectorum and their descendants. Replicate them, nurture them, and create a brand new scientific discipline. I don't think that's a good idea, Ronnie. It is a logical decision. I will certainly succeed. The entity that I reconstruct will bloom into a life never before seen. I don't think that's a good idea. Will Herta and Skrulem like this experiment? Most likely not. Therefore, before they realize what I am doing, I must hurry my work, as well as find a fitting assistant. Oh god, are we playing right into her hands? What does she want us to do? Permission granted. Buzz. Oh boy. Select from the below services. 1. Check visitor records. 2. Open incubator entrance. Check visitor records. Madam Ron May. Buzz. Alien species. Buzz. Man with plaster head. Buzz. Ratio? This seems like there's something new. Ratio was here? Open incubator entrance. Permission granted. Buzz. That sound's coming from above. Okay. Return upstairs and continue investigation. Wait, so Ratio was here? Hold on, collect. So I'd assume the majority of the notes that we're going to find here is probably left from Ron May. Either that, or it's going to be left from the previous scientists that had to evacuate this area. I see, so this path was the path towards more, un more bad things. Jeez. Alright. More of you. Lovelies. Yeah, you'll be fine. Uh, speed doesn't need increasing for now. We should be good with this. Embrace virtue. is eternal. All right, look at okay, eulogy. That's what you call it, eulogy. 
Okay, return upstairs and continue your investigation. Yeah, there you go. God damn it. Alright, we are going to immediately take action. Wait, hold on a minute. Why do all of you have toughness protection for one move? Are you for real? Bruh. Okay, y'all are dead anyways. That's good. Until I see that I will protect all beauty. Oh, that killed everyone in one hit. Thank you, Argenti. God damn. <laughs> Alright. Mythos knots. There's more things there, but it seems that we're heading this way. Is there anything here? Not really. Investigate. As you look down, a strong sense of crisis creeps up your spine to the back of your head. You clench your fists in silence. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. So it seems like an elevator of sorts. You do it. You do realize what I mean, right? By by seeing how large the space station actually is, because of oh, okay, because of how far we've gone down, up and down. It really means that the size of the space station is incredibly huge. Also, did we just walk one big round just to end up at back where we started from? There's someone in the distance. Who is that? Hold up. You look familiar. Is that Senor Plasterhead? Oh my god, wait, no, Matt has his own background music. Okay, no, no. A genius move. And how will you counter it? Only an idiot would ask such a question. Are you playing chess against yourself? Just move this here. Hmm. Uh. Ratio. You look distressed. Something the matter? If that's the case, you better get thinking. Are you waiting for a sign? Oh, I got chills. Time is ticking. You guys, I have goosebumps. Via the elevator. What you seek is there. Well, why are you here? Have you considered whether the answer to your question will be of any relevance to our current predicament? Yes. Because I'm a sim for you, Ratio. If a question is of no help, then don't ask it. Time is clearly precious to the both of us. All right, all right. <sighs> Never mind. Allow me to clarify something. I know exactly who you are. Ooh. And I'm aware you are in Ron May's employ. This was not my intended destination. I just happened to find my way here during my visit and saw what she was up to. Uh-huh. My goals are roughly aligned with yours. Since you're here, I won't intercede. But should you fail, I will be forced to prevent some avoidable misfortunes. Got That's you. all you need to know. Just... Two paragraphs. Very effective communication. Indeed, fine sir. You're not a bad person after all. Why do you wear an alabaster head? Thank you for telling me that. I can't stand discourtesy. Even when it comes from myself. The real Ron May's creation is hidden in the giant incubator below us. Uh-huh. Go. Take the elevator and bear witness to this genius masterpiece so i assume this is where we're gonna fight the big bad witness the big trouble i don't want to are you still there oh god no you're not all right ratio ratio oh boy left the safe zone once again Does Herda know nothing of this? Old friends meet yet again. Um. Oh, okay. It's moving this way now. 
Interesting. This is huge. The space station has an area this big? Girl, the whole space station is huge. What are you talking about? That is a very cool elevator. I will give you I will give you that. That is a very cool elevator. Is Ratio with us? No, he's not. Okay. That's not good. Huh? What is that? Dear God. Wait, it broke out of the incubator. That's sticky fluid. God damn. Ooh. The way the music picked up at that point. Clone? How can that be? Paralysis death beam. Jeez, you're doing damage, alright. Okay, hold on. Let's have a look at what your attacks are. Phase 1, deals quantum damage. They, uh, deals quantum damage to a single target with high chance to inflict entanglement. Also summons one Norse thing. That's not good. Deals quantum damage to single target units to a single target unit and units adjacent to the target. Carapace of the Gotten Swarm. Enter the multiply stage in the next action. During this time, damage received is greatly reduced and each attack taken will cause a Norse thing to be summoned. If this unit is weakness broken while in the multiply state, it will deal toughness reducing damage equal to the unit's max toughness to all friendly units and increase the damage taken by all other friendly allies, uh, all other friendly units besides the target itself. The replica of Emanator of Propagation cultivated by Ron May, briefly manifesting in the world in an incomplete form. Jesus. Its original form is a giant lipisma that inherited the mandibles of the, imper of the Imperator Insectorum. It can collect in its mouth parts the death ray that fragmented celestial bodies and make shattered stars incubators for procreating offspring. It was once one of the nightmares across multiple world worlds during the storm disaster. Why on earth, Ranmei, would you do this? Why? I do I not understand. God damn. Alright. Oh, we're not in two times speed. That's on me. Not realizing that earlier. All right. Oh jeez. While in the multiply state, the Swan King releases. Okay. Well, every time you attack them. But from what I've heard, you essentially take more toughness reducing in here, which is fine, because it looks like your health bar is coming down pretty nicely as well. With that. Alright, we'll just break everyone. That should do the trick. Holy crap, wait, that happens? Oh, that's kind of cool. Wait, hold on. I kind of want to do that again. That's fine. Okay. Uh, do that again, actually. So we'll just get Argenti to do that again. Because if enough damage is provided... No, not enough. Hold on, I'm just gonna hit everyone with this first. There you go. Yeah, because look at that. It's dealing chain health damage. That's pretty cool. Oh, so you're no longer in the multiply state. Okay, gotcha. So I suppose now probably wouldn't be the... Actually, you know what? It's fine. Ooh, wow, that dealt a lot of damage. Yeah, that's all I was thinking as well. Oh, jeez. Okay, then. Okay, okay. Oh, hold on. What? Wait. Did Argenti die then? Hold on. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Um, phase 2, massive quantum damage. More quantum damage, and... Yeah, okay, everything's pretty much the same. It's just another round of pain. Prepare to fight. I do not like you. Oh god, okay. I do not like you. I will say that first. 
Alright, we'll just do this. Because that will do some damage. That will do some damage. Lands at the ready. You will do some damage. Okay. And this should deal a lot of damage. Until I see All right. that light once more. Hopefully Argenti does decent. Ooh, sexy. Absolutely sexy damage. Holy. Overm of Collapse Star. Oh jeez. Okay, no. Immediately healing everyone. Back again, up. All the way up. Jeez, I did not like. Oh wow, okay, that's dealing way more damage than I thought it would. I think we're good. Oh boy. Kalos, no. Come on, get back up, get back up. God, that quantum. Oh. After 56 seconds, the creature was unable to sustain its own existence and vanished as if it had never been born. Oh. Hmm. You were observing us from the side. The threat is over. Time to get going. Rachel, come back. Is it over? I... I need to get some answers out of Ronmei. This area has been cleaned, waiting to... execute next phase. What? Wait, cleaning in progress, please wait. Growth container fragments have been... The area has been cleaned, waiting to... Okay, no. That went by way too fast. Ronmei, I need answers. What the hell did you do? Why would you do that? What the... Oh, I did not like that fight. Oh. Looks like we have a really tough echo on echo of war on our hands now. That's not gonna be good. The meeting of geniuses is over. As for the future of the simulated universe, that conclusion isn't important. What's important is your task. Yeah, look at her with angry f with, with that angry face, Kalos. Absolutely. What the hell? You look... upset, correct? I regret my actions. There's no defending what I've done. Time and again, my experiments have fallen short, and they've always yielded predictable results. I... I made a clone, but it... doesn't hold a candle to the Emanator. That's not the point. It died on its own. You didn't have to lie to me. How should I have explained it to you? I'm not good at communicating with others. <sighs> Restrained by God time damn. and place, its code of life could only be considered an incomplete attempt. I managed to replicate the moment it was born. However, it would soon disappear and be reduced to particles. Like every living being, it inevitably faced its demise as it journeyed towards the end. I find no fault in that. However... Even the briefest life should have meaning. I want to know the limits of its capacity. It will indicate how far I've gone in a field completely incomprehensible to me. I don't think you should be carrying on. <laughs> and it was a minuscule step. Just as I had predicted. It almost ate me. Are you going to keep researching? What about life outside of research? I did say that if a danger proved too great for you, I would personally step in to confront it. So what? You just not... Oh, God. I must admit, I'm not fond of scenarios where everything aligns perfectly with my expectations. An experiment should have its unforeseen twists. That's where the joy lies. Even the most predictable storylines can have their pleasant surprises. I don't know what to say to you. I have to admit that these little ones born in the process sometimes move me. I see a human-like response in them, 
It is a concept completely opposite to that of divinity. They have emotions. Emotions may be either positive or negative. However, the love rooted in the depths of their heart is eternal and unchanging. Uh -huh. And they are still a long way from becoming geniuses and are therefore unable to discern whether this love is one of friendship, romance, or familial love. That being said, can even geniuses tell the difference? I cannot, at least. I do not understand what love is and cannot respond to their feelings. Oh man, wrong me. Do you believe my actions were wrong? Yes. There is no need to tell me your answer. I just felt like asking the question. Yes. How should I take care of them? Perhaps leaving them at the space station is the best choice. Oh, boy. Don't seem irresponsible. I'm sorry. I am often at a loss as to how to face my own creations. God damn it, Rami. The effects of the anti-truth serum will also wear off. If others mention me to you in the future, you can answer however you like. Or even pretend you never knew me. Jeez. After all, your memory of me will soon dissipate like smoke. Memory dissipate? Over time, hidden truths tend to surface. Past traumas, which I'd rather leave behind, have made me skeptical about trusting anyone but myself. So girl has trust issues. If I do not want a secret revealed, the most foolproof way is to destroy it. The anti-truth serum will make you forget the brief period we spent together. Are you for real? It won't take effect immediately. It is a slow, intangible process. Like the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossom, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. Oh boy. Perhaps you'll remember someone performed selfish experiments on the space station, but you will no longer remember their identity. Perhaps we'll meet again someday, but you won't be able to connect me with the recollection. Oh boy. That way, the connection between life forms will be erased. Friendships, secrets, grudges, lies. All will disappear. Oh yeah, but that is a very good point though. What about ratio? Ratio was there. It will make our lives more relaxing. If that's your wish, I'll forget you. No, I won't forget you. I believe you. Screwlem will stay on the space station for a while longer. He and Herta still have problems they need to solve. As for me, I'm leaving soon and won't bother with goodbyes. Oh boy. Do you still remember the no man's land I mentioned? Mm-hmm. I'm considering a solo trip back there during my research downtime. Just to see how things are. Uh -huh. I miss member number 55 reaching to sometimes. She used to always make something delicious for me to drink every time we parted ways. I hope I won't meet member number four Polka Kakamond. That would be quite troublesome. Mm -hmm. Who knows when the next gathering of geniuses will be? Do you have anything else you want to say to me? Do you trust me now? I hope you'll come back and visit your creations. Yeah, the second one, definitely. I promise I will, Mr. Assistant. Okay. If fate allows and you're interested, upon our next meeting, we could journey to no man's land and traverse its tranquil glaciers. Though I suppose it wouldn't be no man's land anymore. What a conundrum. That is true. Are adorable. Huh? Oh, not that little smile. When the stars of ingenuity shine. This is the verification. Ron May has become a visitor to the Express. You might come across Ron May when you return to the Express. 
mundane troubles start. Old friends meet yet again. Snack life. <gasps> oh, that's cute. Look at that. Look at that. That's so cute. Receiving that avatar from the reward. That is cute. That is very cute. Indeed. Alright. With that, the new Crit Epic event has been unlocked. And it's also where this video will end. So, yeah. Today we have finished the first half of the new Trailblaze Continuance um, quests. And yeah part two which will be the involvement of asta mundane troubles will be uploaded in a separate video so do look forward to that and yeah we'd like to see you guys in the next video i know that um this one's a bit short uh but yeah i hope you guys can understand that i'm splitting it up into two separate quests but yeah, uh, thank you all so, so much for coming once again. Uh, it means the world to me that you guys stayed all the way till the end for this. And yeah, uh, I wonder what your thoughts are on Ron May. She definitely is a character. Um, still m have very mixed feelings about her, I will say. So yeah, New Echo of War has also been up, uh, unlocked. The new past evils of the Borehole Planet disaster. So yeah, uh, let me guys let me guys uh, know what are your thoughts on Ron May in the comments, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye.